Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scotch Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber or a returning watcher, thank you so much for coming back to watch my video. You know I really, really do appreciate you guys. Um, this is potentially the second last video on the door. Um, I am heading home this weekend, so I'm quite excited about that. I think Alan's more excited to get rid of me, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be big changes again, but back to my kind of easier to manage office space to be fair um it's just easier to have everything sort of left out rather than trying to put it away and try and keep this place tidy which i'm not very good at doing so we are going to do a close out for today i have done my budget video um over on the other page as you can see i'm not filling out this month very well at all but Anyhow, right, I still have a bit of a tickle to my voice, so I do apologise if I cough or kind of clear my throat a lot. Um, I don't know what's going on. I feel absolutely fine though. So we're going to close out. We're going to start with closing out our groceries actually, because I forgot to do that last time. It was easier just to do it just now. So we'll go in here. If you can hear Floss in the background, she's watching telly. So she gets a little bit bored of the same program over and over again. Work spending and Piper. Okay, so what did we put into these categories for a start? We put in 30 into groceries, 45 into fuel, and then 5, 5 and 10. So work spending is in, or it's spending, my spending is different. It goes into this savings challenge here. Um, if we haven't spent it, but the rest uh, goes into either Halloween or the penny challenges. Okay, so let's scroll you out. Oh, sorry, I made you all a bit seasick there. Um, I'm hoping to get these up on my Etsy this week. Um, this style of wallet, if anybody is interested, let me know. Um, I have some to post out all ready to go so for Karen I hope she'll love them groceries we have no notes but we do have change so all this change is from groceries bit of a spendy week on groceries but I was buying um, some little bits of extras here and there, little bits that we didn't <coughs> necessarily need, but I wanted. Um, so, I don't know what I need to calculate for. We've got two, three, four, fifty, seventy, ninety, five. Well, that's not as bad as I thought, actually. Two, three, four, five, five, ten, five, twenty. 25, 26. So we have £5.26 left over. Which means we spent 24.74. We'll pop that to the side for now. Fuel, we have £5 left. So we spent 40 and we have £5 left. My spending, we have £5 left, but that goes different. Envelope, we spent nothing, we have £5 left. Piper didn't spend her money in the end because we were going to go to a bigger store um, and get like 
treats there but then the weather just put a hamper to that so um i was tempted to carry it over but i'm just going to put it into my challenges because then i'm going to reallocate them in another video anyway and work spending i still have five pound because my client cancelled me this afternoon um she wasn't feeling overly well but obviously the weather as well it's just not ideal for going out so so we should have 10 15 20 25 and 30 pound 26 left over Flossie, get down please Floss. good girl the telly is on a unit so she likes to jump up and kind of get closer to the telly and knock things over okay so we spent 24 was it 24 i can't even remember i've only just done it 24 74 I did my fuel wrong. It was 35. I spent not 40. So I've got five pound left. So 35. Work spending. Um we didn't spend anything. My spending and paper. So we have we'll leave that there for now. Okay, so to work with we had 392.74 as a rollover. Um, I then made some sales on Party Light and I got £10.26 in commission from that. So that was a huge thank you to my pal Little Pell. <laughs> and then somebody bought a planner and gave me the change for a coffee. So that was Linda. So thank you very much, Linda, for that. I really do appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to certainly utilize that when I go off um, in December for my Christmas shopping weekend so thank you so in total we have 407 71 excuse me I'm gonna sneeze <clears throat> oh excuse me sorry about that um, Netflix is pending in my bank account so it's coming out of the amount that I've got although it probably won't clear until Monday um, it's still I've used the bank account as a pending amount if that makes sense um, so that is 6 99 so that leaves me with 472 I um, didn't use any sinking funds this week and put £20 over to extra debt, which leaves me with 38072. I've put over all of my um, sinking funds as planned, so if you want to know where they went, um, my last cash stuffing video is up on YouTube. The views are not very great on that actually so feel free to go over and give that a wee watch before the next cash stuffing comes up um for some reason my other videos do way better than my budget videos which um my cash stuffing videos and i would assume that people would enjoy cash stuffing better than like watching me writing my book but um uh, just the way it's but every single view is appreciative appreciated so thank you very much um to take 95 away from there so 28572 and then we have 24 74 plus the 35 from the fuel that i used so in total i used 59 pound 74 so 28572 minus 59 74 and that leaves me with 22601 i put 10 pound over to my monthly challenge i put 12 pound into my 26 weeks challenge and we put the five pound into pumpkin faces and then we're just going to use this change now and see where that goes and yet again i'm away without a marker 
Bore in your sharpie, Alan. <laughs> he's giving me a row for borrowing it without asking last time. So he's through in his room doing his exercises. Uh, so let's do the Halloween challenge first. So we have 10, 15 and 20. So we're not going to quite complete it, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so 10 and 20. We are £15 short of completing it. Because uh, I'm going to retire this. No, I'm not, am I? No, we, we could complete it. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll close out October and finish on this. So uh, we've still got another week, actually, of closing out. So we might complete it. We need 15 to complete it, I think. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Foss, get down. Fossy, down. So 15 needed to complete that, so we're going to put 15 and 20 into Halloween. And then Spook and Save gets the leftovers. And I didn't delete that extra five. Um, so Katrina went, she was on her holidays and she watched my video back again. And she said that this is the one I did last time. Um, so, and I did it again there. So we're not going to do it again, but that is that five. Does that make sense? So we have, I'm just going to add it in here. That's the wrong folder. That's the pumpkin one. I'm going to add it into here. And this lovely envelope was made for me by Emily, who I am desperately trying to get to upload videos to YouTube um, for you all to see. She's got two beautiful little girls um, who I'm sure no doubt would join her on her videos. <laughs> Verbally, probably. Um, but yeah, that is that one done. And then we are going to do five pound into spook and save. And then the penny challenges. So let's see what we've got here. So first up, we have 50p. So we've got one 50p. Oh my goodness, I'm losing the plot. 150p and then we have two pen coins we then have a two pound coin i don't usually have an awful lot of change these are very very slow burners for me but i'm more than happy with that and then we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76. 76. So we'll do 50 and 26 for the 76. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, yes, 76. Perfect. So that is five pound and twenty six going into the penny challenges. So while I've been at here at Allen's, I've just been putting all the money into um like one big jar, and not really been tracking the fifty p's and stuff. So I'm going to have to go through and just double check um all this money when I go home. So um and put it into I've got two jars, one for gold, one for sort of silvers and stuff bronzes and that um and just make sure that they all tally up right and so when i'm doing that what i'm going to try and do is um condense this little, a little bit and see if i can get the higher numbers and be left with the lower numbers if i can um boss is coming to visit <laughs> i've switched the telly off because she was getting too agitated so she's now come back up to see me so we've got 10 plus 12 plus 5 Plus twenty, plus five, plus five pound twenty six, 
is 57 26 so we'll deduct that from 22601 minus 57 26 leaves me with 16875 and it sounds a bit familiar but I don't know what was in my bag 16872 so I'm three pence out that could just be my mathematics somewhere but I'm not going to quibble uh, too much on that. 28572 minus 24, 74, 35. Uh, two, I'm saying I'm not going to quibble and now I'm trying to work out what I've done wrong. So minus 24, 74 and minus 35 is 25598 two, five, five, nine, minus 57 26 is 186 that's his 168 anyway 16872 I told you it'd be my maths and I use a calculator and I still get the math wrong. So thank you so much for watching. That is us for this one. I'm going to go off now quickly and do cash stuffing. And then um, that'll be the videos done for the week. And then I can kind of chill tomorrow when I'm getting all my things back in place in my office. And I will catch up with you all very, very soon. So take care and have a good one. Bye.